everybody, how you doing? My name is Nisim Lopez. I am a Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida. I'm into heavy metal. I'm proud of being a headbanger. And I also happen to be a targeted individual. I know most of you are not familiar with that terminology. Targeted individual basically means that you're a victim of a secret, illegal, long-term, unconstitutional surveillance program sponsored by the U.S. government law enforcement known as organized stalking. Now, organized stalking, you know, basically it is a secret program, you know, community-based mobbing, organized stalking, covert harassment, you know, it goes by many names, gun stalking, etc. It's a secret program of the U.S. government designed to destroy a targeted individual emotionally and psychologically. Basically, what we're talking about here is a bunch of corrupt and immoral civilians recruited by law enforcement, by the police, you know, the FBI, Homeland Security, you know, they're all one big happy family, you know. You know, civilians recruited by law enforcement, you know, they are brainwashed into believing that the target, the isolated targeted individual is a bad person, you know, a criminal, a threat to society, whatever. And these uh, corrupt and immoral civilians, you know, people of, of, of all types of social status, you know, all kinds of people, usually bottom feeders, you know, drug addicts, ex-convicts, criminals, you know, uh, homeless people, you know, this is uh, the kind of people they recruit usually to harass the targeted individual 24-7 everywhere he goes. These people basically harass, intimidate, agitate, you know, the targeted individual 24-7 the idea is to cause a nervous breakdown in the long run. You know, this is a long-term, you know, surveillance program. The targeted individual is harassed, intimidated, agitated, you know, basically terrorized for years. Until eventually, you know, he breaks down and ends up in a psychiatric institution, isolated, discredited, demonized, his credibility automatically gone, you know. If he says, oh, I'm being harassed by the government, you know, this and that or whatever, you know, nobody's going to believe him because he's now like a medicated psychiatric patient and shit. You know, this is, this is very well orchestrated. So basically the whole gang stalking thing, you know, is basically pretty much a takedown program. Very well planned, you know. You know, when you become a targeted individual, that means that you're being ostracized. You're blacklisted from society. So, you know, basically, pretty much to the whole world, you know, if you are a targeted individual in the United States of America, people are being lied to. They're, they are told that you're a criminal, that you're a bad guy, that you're a horrible person, you know, that you beat your wife, that you're a terrorist. Oh, you know, he's a communist. He's a, he's a I don't know, a... Oh, he's a rapist, you know, he's a murderer, he's a child molester, you know, all kinds of horrible, despicable thing. The idea is to brainwash the potential perps, you know, perpetrators, citizens on patrol, surveillance role players, surveillance team members, you know, all these corrupt and immoral people that harass the targeted individual left and right, day and night, 24-7, everywhere he goes, into believing that the target is indeed a bad person, you know. So I, Nisim Lopez, I'm a Cuban American artist, as, as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, I'm, I'm basically a free thinker, you know, I don't mess with anybody, you know, I like to read books and that kind of shit, you know, I like to make drawings, paintings, you know, that's who I am, I'm not, you know, I've never really been involved in any criminal activity, you know, I've never been to a gun shop in my life, I'm not a violent person, you know, so... I ended up as a targeted individual in America because basically I opened my mouth and said a few things that some people didn't like. But believe it or not, you know, that's more than enough in America for you to end up in a blacklist. 
you know, you know, as 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 a horrible person. To make a long story short, you know, I have friction with a group of people here in Miami, Florida. I'm talking about a particular group of people that have a lot of political influence, a lot of money. People who are very well connected, you know, all they have to do is, you know, call and say, oh, you know what, this guy, Nisim Lopez, you know, he's a bad apple. We want him to be placed in the gang stalking program. You know, these people are very well connected. They have friends in the FBI, Homeland Security, the CIA, the police, you know, all that kind of shit. So if they don't like you for whatever reason, they're going to get in touch with their friends in high places. And then they're going to monitor you. They're going to monitor you for years in order to learn everything about you. You know, what kind of music you like, what kind of restaurants you go to, you know, what kind of women you like. Uh, I don't know, anything pretty much, you know, I mean, what kind of political ideas you have, of course, you know, that kind of shit, you know. They mo they're, going to monitor, they're going to monitor you for years in order to learn everything about you, you know, your friends, your social circle, your family, you know, have you traveled around the world, you know, all, that, all kinds of stuff. And then eventually they're going to start harassing you with the gang stalking program. Now, when they, when they first, at the beginning, you know, when they first uh, start gang stalking you, you're going to have no idea what the hell's going on. When they started gang stalking me, you know, I realized that I was being harassed in an organized fashion by civilians that I recruited by law enforcement pretty much in January 2011. That's when I realized that the, 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 the shit was going on. But that means basically that my, my, my gang stalking experience really started in 2010. I was just not aware of the fact. So, you know, I, basically, uh, I, I experienced all the levels of the program, all the phases of the program. Once you are a targeted individual, basically you don't have too much choices. Number one, you're going to be institutionalized. You're going to end up in a psychiatric institution, discredited, demonized. Keep in mind, very important that you understand this. All those doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, whatever, these people are in bed with law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna give you medications like fucking what is it called? Uh, Risperidol. They're gonna give you medications like Simbasta thing. You know all these medications. You know the idea is to destroy you. You know without you even knowing that you're being destroyed. These kind of medications, for example, just so you know this, the heavy side effects. This kind of medication can cause erectile dysfunction. You know it fucks with your hormones and shit. So basically, they're killing you. And you don't even know that, that this shit is happening because you, you trust the medical establishment. Okay. Uh, once you are a targeted individual in America, you know, that you've been labeled as an undesirable, you know, as a potential terrorist or whatever the hell. You know, there's a possibility that you're going to end up in jail. You know, they're going to send you thugs, you know, ex-combits, criminals. You know, these people are going to provoke you in the street. And then guess what? The police is going to come in. Woo! They're going to arrest you. They're going to put you in jail. Oh, you know, this guy is aggressive. He's violent. He's a threat to society. Blah, 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 blah. And that's it. Your record is stained. Another thing is that, you know, these people have very... Jesus fucking Christ, how do I say that? These people have classified technology. These people in law enforcement in the United States, you know, FBI, Homeland Security, Police, all the motherfuckers, you know, they have access to a classified technology that is beyond your wildest fucking dreams. And believe me, I know what the hell I'm talking about. This classified technology enables these people in fusion centers. This is a, t a secret technology that is based on the biofrequency of the targeted individual. Basically, we're talking about your DNA on digital format, brain mapping technology. This secret technology enables these corrupt and immoral people in positions of authority and law enforcement 
pretty much to mess with your mind. Just so you have an idea. I don't expect you to believe me, by the way, but I'm just telling you because, you know, I'm here to tell you the truth. That's really what I'm doing right now. I'm telling you the truth. You know, this secret technology enables these corrupt and immoral people in law enforcement to insert, you know, basically thoughts, phrases, impulses, dream videos, etc. into the psyche of the targeted individual. You know, they try to make you believe that those are your, your own thoughts when they are not. You know, synthetic telepathy. Synthetic telepathy. You know, transcranial stimulation, basically. Transcranial stimulation. This is very secret stuff, you know, and like I said, I don't expect anybody to believe me. But uh, if you want to go ahead and do your own research, you know, don't believe me. I'm going to tell you right now about four doctors, I'm talking about doctors, you know, that, you know, they basically, you know, they have come through and stated, you know, that, yeah, this shit is really going on. I'm going to give you the names of four doctors. Number one, Dr. Rauni Lina Lukanen Kilde, you know, a Finnish doctor, you know, a physician, she's an author. She was killed, you know, they, they took her out because she was speaking way too much truth, you know. She's the author of a book called Bright Light on Black Shadows, you know, very, very wise woman, very intelligent, highly intelligent, you know, Dr. Raunilina Lukaren Kilde. Sorry if I mispronounce her name. I'm going to tell you another doctor, Dr. Eric T. Karstrom. I actually, uh... I I, uh, I spoke to him through my, you know, I sent him an email and stuff. One of my videos, one of my YouTube videos is in his website, you know. He's an American doctor. He's a professor, very, very highly intelligent, you know, very wise man. So, you know, yeah, he, he basically, is, yeah, targeted individual phenomenon is real. The shit is really happening, of course, you know. So, Dr. Eric, Eric T. Karstrom. I'm going to tell you about another doctor. Dr. John Ho is an American doctor from Texas, you know, he's a physician and author. He published a very interesting book called uh, Guinea Pigs, Technologies of Control. Yeah, he knows everything about the gangster phenomenon, highly intelligent, brilliant, you know, check him out. And last but not least, I mean, I could go on forever, but I'm just going to give you four examples. Dr. Robert P. Duncan, Robert Duncan, he's an American scientist deeply involved with the U.S. government, I'm not going to go into details, he's the author of the book uh, Project Salt Catcher, very interesting book. So, you know, I'm not making this up, you know, I'm not, you know, some delusional, paranoid guy, oh, guns talking, blah, blah, blah. This is a secret program of the United States government that is designed to destroy targeted individuals emotionally and psychologically. This shit is really going on, not only here in America. This is a global interagency program. This sick shit is happening in the UK, in Australia, in Europe. You know, I mean, this is this, this shit is fucking out there. I, I I hear that this shit is happening in Japan too. You know, this shit is sick. This is a takedown program. Basically, they're hunting down free spirits. You know, people that could be considered a threat to the new world order, one way or another. In other words, you know, the outspoken. If you say something that is considered to be out of line, they come up to you. 
So uh so basically I'm just trying to give you some information, you know. I'll put it you like this. I'm 42 years old. Uh, I've been a victim of the secret unconstitutional gang stalking program for years now. These people in law enforcement, they have been harassing me for years now. Since 2010, we're in the year 2018. Just so you have an idea, a clue, what kinds of shit I've been experiencing. You know, harassment, you know, people provoking me, people messing with me all the time, basically destroying me, blasting my psyche. Since 2010, we're well, 2018. We're talking here about years of accumulated stress. And you know, when you're a targeted individual for years, and these corrupt and immoral people in positions of authority and law enforcement have been recruiting all these corrupt and immoral clowns to mess with you day and night, 24-7, everywhere you go. Eventually, we're only human. That shit gets to you. And it does affect you physically. So, uh, I'm not blind. I know my end is not going to be pretty. I'm either going to end up, uh, I mean, I don't know, but... You know, once you're in the program and you know what this shit is all about, you know that you're going to end up... I already been in psychiatry. I already ended up in psychiatric institution. You know, that was part of the, pro of the program. That's part of the character assassination program. They want you discredited, isolated, demonized, with no support system. They want people to think that you're crazy or you don't know what the hell you're talking about, delusion, all that shit. Yeah. So I already been through that part, the psychiatric aspect of the gang stalking program. You know, I mean, I did everything I could in order to resolve this issue peacefully in a civilized manner, sending certified letters to all kinds of governmental institutions. Yes, hi, my name is Cecil Lopez. You know, I'm a law-abiding citizen. You know, I'm being gang stalked. I'm being harassed by these corrupt and immoral people in the government. You know, in law enforcement, the police, they're doing this shit to me, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Mainstream media doesn't give a shit. The the Supreme Court of Florida doesn't give a shit. You know, the newspapers, they don't care. Nobody wants to hear about this because they know that the people who are behind this crazy ass shit is law enforcement. The police, Homeland Security, the FBI, CIA, the NSA, all that shit. It's so one big happy family. So they don't want to get involved with this shit. So if you call a TV channel like NBC 6 News or Telemundo 51, Univision 23, whatever, whoever you call, they're going to tell you, oh, do you have any evidence? Wait a minute. How the fuck you expect me to have evidence? You think these people in the police who are recruiting these clowns to harass me day and night, you think they're going to allow me to have evidence? You're out of your fucking mind. Another aspect of this unjust systematic harassment, you know, sponsored by law enforcement here in the United States of America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, you know, they expect you to commit suicide. Think about it. They're making your life impossible. Day and night, everywhere you go, 24-7, pam, 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 pam. People messing with you, people provoking you. People insulting you. I mean, disgusting shit. Really ugly stuff. I mean, unbearable fucking, you know, ugly stuff. Despicable things. Some people, they say, you know, hey, you know what? I'm done with this shit. And they commit suicide. There have been targeted individuals that have committed suicide. By the way, I'm not promoting suicide, just so you know. But there have been targeted individuals out there that have taken their own lives. This is very serious, you know? This is very serious shit. And then finally, 
you know, some targeted individuals die because of cancer, a heart attack, a brain tumor, some shit. So, as of right now, you know, we're in April 2018. What can I do? <laughs> What can I possibly do about this damn fucking shit? <laughs> and you know, now that I look back, what did I really do? What did I do? You know, I mean, what crime did I commit? I'm serious. What is this serious offense that I committed according to law enforcement here in the United States of America, the land of the free and the home of the brave? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Nothing. I just happened to have a disagreement with a group of influential Ashkenazi Jews here in Florida. Very arrogant people, very obnoxious people. You know, they think they're the shit. They think the the God such and such shows them above the nations all that shit. So these people pull those strings, you know. They they, they got in touch with their friends in law enforcement. Yeah, and they seen Lopez. Yeah, put him in the gun stocking program. You know, extrajudicial punishment. You know, because he dared to say this to us or whatever. By the way, I I, I wrote a book. It's called Unearthing a Buried Past. This book is free online for everyone to read. I got it free online so that nobody could say that I'm doing this for money. Free for everybody to check it out. Unearthing a Buried Past. NicinLopezWordPress.com You go there, you're going to be able to read my book for free. You know, nobody's charging you a dime. Come on, everybody. Just go to YouTube. That's all you need to do. Go to YouTube and put September 11th inside job. Everybody fucking knows that September 11th was an inside job. Everybody knows that Islamic State of Iraq and Syria ISIS is a fabrication of the CIA that they want to create greater Israel. People know this. So what's the big deal? Also, you're going to put me in the organized talking program because I said that, you know, and guess what? It opposes the agenda or whatever. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the shit that's going on in America, gang stalking, organized stalking, covert harassment sponsored by law enforcement. You know, basically, if you say something that is out of line, you know, they're going to put you in the program. And I want to make sure that you understand this. Because, you know, when you're placed in this program, they tell people, oh, this guy is crazy, this guy is a criminal, he's a threat, this guy is violent, he's aggressive, ooh, you know. Thank you very much for your time.